Hi Yogis, TJ Kim. Welcome back to day 79 of our 100 day yoga challenge. In order to make progress, remember three things. Eat well, sleep well, and practice with good amount of rest. But taking ample rest doesn't mean complete stop of practice, especially with minor injuries. Please, please keep moving gently. It not only helps faster healing, but also preserve your range of motion. Your body always needs rejuvenation for strength, flexibility, and mobility. So today's session focuses on stretching the body and relaxing the mind to ensure good rest and progress in the 100-day yoga challenge. Let's get started. Please sit at the center of the mat with your eyes closed, palms on your knees, with your spine upright comfortably, breathe in and out through your nose. As the body exhales, just relax. Find balance through the spine and relax. Breathe in and out through your nose and relax. If it's difficult for you to relax into this seated posture, you may speak to yourself in silence. I want nothing. I do nothing. Therefore, I am nothing. When we are nothing, all the tension goes away. As you sit and meditate and be aware of the body and the mind, I want you to remember one thing. In today's practice, stretching is equal to relaxing. Stretching is not actually make muscles long. Stretching is actually relaxing the muscle. So please, throughout the practice today, I want you to relax into each posture. How is it possible to make each posture and feel comfortable and relax into posture? Breathe in and out at all times. And just relax. Think of not making your muscles long, think of letting go of tension in your muscles. So that we can make today's practice as a movement meditation. Palms at the heart. Let's start today's practice with OM together. Inhale. Om. Open your eyes, palms on your knees. Let's work on our neck first. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, Drop your head, your chin to the chest. So we're not stretching in the back of the head, we're relaxing the front muscle of the body. Again, stretching means relaxing. 
we often get into an injury because we want to stretch the muscle, means making the muscle long. But if you don't want to get injury while stretching, always focus on relaxing. Same thing as you inhale, chin towards the ceiling, and see if you can relax in the back of your head. Hmm. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hmm. relax. Front neck of neck muscles. Inhale, lift your chin up to the sky. Exhale, relax. The muscle in the back of the head. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, stay. Inhale, gently chin to the chest. Crown up, like head up, so kind of nodding. And then rotate your head to the right side. Hold there three seconds. Three, two, one. See where you can relax. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist to the left. Rotate your head to the left. And as you inhale and exhale, relax. See where you should relax if you want to feel comfortable in this position. Inhale, come back. Exhale. To the right. Inhale, come back. Exhale. To the left. Inhale, come back. And this time, back to center. As you inhale, lengthen the spine one more time, reaching your right palms down, fingers pointing towards the floor. As you exhale, instead of stretching this side, relaxing this side. Relax. So your focus, you're aware of here, not this part. This is happening naturally while you relax this part. Same thing with your hamstring. Same thing with the other things too. Relax into. As you inhale, come back. As you exhale, reaching your left hand, fingers pointing downwards, and exhale. Relax right here, right side of the neck muscle. Relax. Be aware of this. Not here, stretching. Here, relaxing. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back. Exhale, tilt to the left. This time, flex your hand. Stay. And rotate your arms. Here we go. And find a place where, wow, this is it. And stay there. And this time again, relax. Find a spot where you feel the tension the most and relax here. Inhale, come back to center. This time exhale, tilt to the right, lift your left hand, palms up and rotate your arms. Find a spot where you feel the most tension and stay there five breaths. Five, four, three, Two, and one. Exhale, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Shoulder rotation. Inhale, up. Mm. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale, up. And exhale, relax. Counter rise. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale, up, exhale, down. Hands on top of your knees. As you inhale, chest up and forward. Cat cow. As you exhale, round your back. Chin to the chest. Stretch your back. 
Inhale, arch your back, chest up and forward, look up. Exhale, round your back. Gently inhale, look up, chest up and forward. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, back to center. Right palms in the, on the ground. Inhale, lift your left arm up and exhale, lean to the right side. See if you can go down into right elbow down and relax. It means not stretching here, relaxing right side of the body. Again, relax. So naturally, it happens. Stretching is happening on the left side of the body. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to center, left palm on the ground. Inhale, up, right arm up. Exhale, stretch. See if you can place your left elbow down and relax the left side of the body again. Hmm. Relax your right hips down too. Chest up, elbow up. Relax the left side of the body. So right side of this body stretching happening naturally. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come up. And exhale down. And inhale, lift your left arm up. And exhale down. And inhale, rotate your arms. And exhale. Inhale, rotate your arms. Put your right elbow down. And exhale, open your chest towards the ceiling. And inhale, rotate your arm, left elbow down. Relax the left side of the body and stretch. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale, back to center. And release. Forehead on the ground. Again, relax. The front chain of your muscle. Stretching happening in the back. Three. Two. And one. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Stay. Inhale. Bring your right knee with the left hand. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Twist. Look over the right shoulder. Right hand in the back. Three. Exhale, deep twist. Two, see where you need to relax. And one. Inhale, come back. Grab your right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine, left hand in the back. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. Three. Two. As you exhale, relax. See where you need to relax. Go deep into this twist pose. One. As you inhale, come back. And turn your body comes into tabletop pose. And as you exhale, big toes touching, knees wide apart, and relax your forehead or chest on the ground. St stretch. Your hand, extend your arms, pinky, right at the edge of the mat. Relax into child pose. Again, stretching is happening because you relax front line of the old muscles. Walk your hands to the left. And inhale, stretch. And exhale, relax the right armpit down into the ground. Hips relax, forehead on the ground. Three, two, and one. Walk back into the center. 
and exhale, relax. One more time. Walk to the right. Stretch. And then as you exhale, relax the left armpit down into the ground, forehead on the ground, hips on your heels. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, walk back to the center, and exhale, just relax into child pose. As you inhale, come up to tabletop pose. Imagine your spine as a one stake. So round your back as you inhale and exhale. Round your back. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, ar round your back. As you inhale, let's move back, hips up first, lower your belly down, middle back, upper back up, and chest up, chin up. As you inhale, tuck your tailbone under, and lower back, middle back, and upper back, chin to the chest as you move forward. Inhale, hips up first, and middle back, upper back, and chest up, and head up. Tuck your tailbone first as you move forward. Exhale, round your back and chin to the chest. Inhale back. Exhale, move forward. Ripple through the spine. Inhale back. Exhale, move forward. Inhale, hips up. Lower your belly, middle back, chest, head up. And tuck your tailbone under. Round your middle back, round your upper back, and chin to the chest. And come back to tabletop pose. Walk your hands slightly further. As you inhale and exhale, sink down into puppy pose. Forehead on the ground or your chin's on the ground. Just relax into this posture. Three, two, one. Walk your body slightly up and belly on the ground. Top of your feet down, shoulders on top of your wrist. Pushing your elbow down towards yourself and chest up and forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, relax into sphinx. Be aware of sensation happening while you relax into the sphinx pose. Hmm. Three, two, and one. As you exhale, forehead on the ground. We are going to hold cobra today really long. It means three minutes. Because I benefit holding cobra for 5 to 10 minutes. And my spine, there's a transformative change actually. So I want to do experience that. But uh, 5 to 10 minutes is really long. So today, just 1 minute, 1 minute, 1 minute. That's what we're going to go. Ready? It's head down. Palms underneath your shoulders as you inhale lift your chest up shoulders away from your ears and come up come up come up come up and shoulders squeeze shoulder blades squeeze in the back away from your ears and gently relax and we are gonna hold for one minute hmm. I wanted to relax into cobra pose so if this is difficult, probably you should place your arm front. So depending on your situation, find the posture that you can really relax into. 30 more seconds. Breathe. In and out. Two more, 20 more seconds. And relax your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades in 
and then relax your lumbar spine. See if there's any discomfort, lower down your body or place your hands front. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, come down slowly. This time, probably you know where should you place your hands. So adjust yourself and modify the posture. This time, come up. As you inhale, come up into Cobra. Squeeze your shoulder blades in, chest up and forward, and then relax into Cobra. So just lean onto your arms. Lock your elbow, just lean onto it. Your neck long and nice. Your pubic bone gently pressing down because of gravity. Just relax everywhere. Your hips, your legs, your back. Just relax into this posture. If again, if this is difficult and in more than uh, pain range, like three out of 10, then come down and adjust yourself and come up. If this is still difficult, just go back to Spinkus and do the Spinkus instead of Cobra. 30 more seconds. Relax, especially your hips, your lower back. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears and squeeze in the back. Chest slightly upwards. So there's a little amount of energy going upwards from the pubic bone, like pelvic floor, through energy to a crown of, crown of your head. But again, relax. Just minimum amount of four energy remains. And then the rest of it, just relax. 20 more seconds. As you exhale, slowly come down. This time, we're going to take a break for about 30 seconds. Palms facing upwards and then the back. And head to the side and just relax. We don't have much time to stay and hold Cobra for three minutes. But it's such a great exercise and drill to open up your spine and make your spine strong and flexible and mobile at the same time. Because all the tension make your spine stiff. But as you, as you learn to relax your spine, your spine automatically naturally become flexible. 10 more seconds rest. You can change your head. To the other side. Palms underneath your shoulders. One more time. As you inhale, lift your chest up and forward. Extend your arm. Chest up and forward. Shoulder blades squeeze in the back. Shoulders away from your ears. And as you exhale, relax into this cobra pose. About a minute. Remember, there's energy flowing upwards from the pubic bone through the spine to the crown of your head. But minimum energy remains there and the rest of it, just let go. Relax your hips, relax your abdomen, relax your chest, relax your shoulders. Only the arm, lock your elbow and lean onto your arm. Hmm. It might be difficult for those of you who have weak wrist, then come down and come up again. And 30 seconds hold is fine too. 30 more seconds hold. <sighs> Just relax. Remember, be aware of the background. If there's any discomfort in your spine, come down gently and change your posture. That is okay. 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you exhale, slowly come down. One more time, 30 seconds rest. Head towards the left or right, palms facing upwards and reaching down. And just relax. 
Again, relax the entire chain of front muscles and let the body sink into the mat and be aware of spine, especially your lumbar spine or middle spine, wherever you feel something different or something change or some kind of discomfort. And release all the tension. This is time for you to release your tension. And imagine yourself, you are going to have flexible, strong, resilient spine. That's the beauty and art of manifesting your imagination into reality. Okay, 10 more seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Reaching your right palm, right arm to the right side, palms facing downwards, and push your right palms down into the ground and lift your body up and roll your body to the side and see if you can come down here too. If you can come down here, see if you can reach your left arm in the back and interlace your fingers. And if that is fine, and relax there. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Come back to center. This time, extend your left arm and pushing the right palm down and roll over your body. And right elbow bent, fit down. See if you can hold this posture. If you want to go further, reaching your right arm in the back, interlace your fingers, and see if you can interlace your fingers. And even this right knee falling to the left side. And open up your chest towards the ceiling. Stretch the sh like chest and shoulders, but at the same time, we're not focusing on stretching. We're focusing on relaxing in the back of the muscles. Three. Two and one. Slowly come back to center. <sighs> Palms next to your rib cage, tuck your toes under, push your body self up into tabletop pose. Hands in the back of your head. Inhale, lift your left right elbow on top. And exhale, relax. Three. Two, one. Reaching your right arm. Three, two, one. Exhale. Thread the needle. Head on the ground. Extend your left arm. Stay there. If you want to go further, bring your right hand and gr left hand and grab the right thigh and squeeze. And then as you exhale, relax. See? where you need to relax into this thread needle pose. Three, two, and one. As you inhale, release your body, come back into that tabletop pose. Left hand in the back of your head, inhale, lift your left up, elbow up, and exhale, stay. Three, two, one. Extend your left arm, Inhale, open up, and exhale, stay. Three, two, one. This time, thread the needle, left shoulder down, head down. Extend your right arm forward. Stay there if you want to go further. Bring your right arm in the back, grab your left thigh. And as you inhale, twist. And as you exhale, relax into this pose. See where you need to relax to get into this pose without discomfort. Mm. Three, two, and one. Release, inhale, come back to tabletop pose. As you exhale, hips back and down onto your heels, forehead on the ground, and child pose. Release the Pressure in your lumbar spine one more time. And as you inhale, come up to tabletop pose. Exhale, plank. 
Engage your core this time. Engage all the muscles. Inhale, stay. Exhale, drop your knees down. Bend your elbows, half down. Engage muscles. Inhale, chest up and forward. Engage muscle this time. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, bend your right knee, and bend your left knee, and stretch, push your palms and knees, heels, and hips up and high, look between your legs. And then as you exhale, see if you can relax. Even your head on the ground, and hold wherever you are, relax, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, step forward, fit hips width apart, exhale, belly on your thigh, relax, hips up and high, relax all the upper body here, relax, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift your arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. As you exhale, relax your shoulders. Be aware of sensation happening through your sole of your feet. As you inhale, bend your knees, arms, push palms together. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, four, four. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, come down to Chaturanga. Inhale, chest up and forward, cobra. This time, your feet, your leg on the ground, that is fine. Hmm. As you exhale, downward facing da. As you inhale, Right foot forward, come up to warrior one. Let's warm up our body. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, warrior two. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, palms down, engage your core, plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, Chaturanga. And upward facing dog. It's okay. All the legs down. That's fine. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Come up to warrior one. Warm up the body. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, open up your hips. Look over the left shoulder. I'm and left hand, warrior two, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, palms down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Inhale. Step left foot forward and come up to kind of triangle position. As you inhale, feet do not wide open, like kind of narrow up to this point, like three feet away from each other. And inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, hinge from the hips and go down, go down, go down. Relax. So you are not stretching the hamstring. Relaxing the hip flexor and front body of the muscles. Hands down gently. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come up. And exhale. Turn your body to the right side. Inhale, lengthen the spine one more time. And exhale, hinge from the hips, slowly go down. Relax the front body of the muscle instead of lengthening the hamstring. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
inhale up and look forward exhale relax inhale hands on your waist lengthen the spine as you exhale feet hips width apart but by the way uh, big toes slightly look like inwards lengthen the spine as you exhale go down go down go down go down and just relax hands down five exactly again not you are stretching the hamstring you're relaxing all the firm body firm muscles especially hip flexors and your abdominal muscles and everything inside in front three two one grab your big toes with index and middle finger and inhale lengthen the spine one more time and exhale hmm relax five four three shoulders away from yours gently two and one inhale up exhale as you move turn your feet outwards see if you can sit down into this hip lower your hips down and palms or fingertips or if you have yoga blocks yoga blocks in your hand and just as you exhale, lower your hips down. I know you cannot really lower down, but relax where you need to relax and stay comfortable in this posture. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift your hips up. Feet again, hips width apart. Exhale. Relax. Three, two, and one. Inhale, hands on your waist. Come up. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Three, two, and one. Turn your body to the left side and step, feet hips width apart. As you inhale, lift your right leg up and grab big toe with index and middle finger and see if you can stretch, extend your right leg and relax into this posture. Where you need to relax, where, which part of the muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, move to the right, hold. And five seconds, five. Four, relax. Three, two, one. Inhale, come back. See if you can let go. And in this position, even, how can you relax into this posture? Three, two, and one. Softly and gently bring your left, right leg down. Bring your right leg up and grab your big toes with the index and middle finger of the left hand and extend your left leg. And inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, relax into this posture. Relax. Five, four. Relax all the muscles as much as you can. Three, two, and one. Inhale, hip right, fit to the side, and relax. Exhale. Three, two, one. Two more seconds. And inhale, come back. See if you can let go of your hand. And then still relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Go down and relax your hands. Grab your big toe. With index and middle finger, inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, gently pull your toes toward yourself, and relax. Hips up and high, and relax your belly on your thigh, and see if you can relax into this four, four, five, four, three. Again, it's not relaxing in the back, stretching in the back of the muscle. We're relaxing front muscles. Here we go two and one inhale lift your body up 
And exhale, this time, palms underneath. And exhale. Hmm. Relax one more time. Lean slightly forward. I know there's a stretching sensation, but relax all the muscles. Three, two, and one. Inhale, palms up. Grab big toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, palms on the ground. And feet in the back. Plank. Inhale, stay. Exhale, knee down, bend your elbows, half down. Inhale, chest up and forward. Cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, hips down at the center of the mat, extend your leg. Palms in the back of the head and bend your knees. As you inhale, lift your hips up into reverse tabletop pose and exhale, drop your head back. C, minimum range, like minimum forces to maintain this posture. See if you can relax all the muscles. Five, four, three, two, and one. As you exhale, gently come back down and extend your leg. And palms in the back again, we're coming back, come up to reverse plank, same thing. It's a difficult posture, but you know where to relax. So strength, upper body, strengthen, lower body, relax. I'm in the old back chain. Ready? Go up and relax. See if you can relax all the muscles. Maintain the basic posture and relax. Five, four, minimum energy to use to maintain the posture and let go of all the unnecessary forces. Strength, one, as you exhale, come down. As you inhale, bend your right knee and grab your right knee with your left hand. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist the and hands in the back. Look over the right shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. See if you can go further. Inhale, lift your left elbow up. And exhale, hook, and look over the right shoulder. Three, relax. Two, and one. Inhale, come back to center. Bend your left knee, extend your right knee. Grab your left knee with the right hand. Inhale, lengthen the spine, left hand in the back. And exhale, twist. Look over the left shoulder. Three. Two, and one. Inhale, lift your right elbow up, and exhale, hook, and then exhale, even twist further. Five, four, relax. Three, relax. Two, please relax. And one. Inhale. Come back to center and come up to plank position. Inhale, stay. Exhale, come down into Chaturanga. All the body down. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left foot forward. Come up to lower lunge, hands on your knees. And exhale, sink down into lower lunge. Five, lengthen the spine, inhale. And exhale, just relax. See if you can relax all the muscles. Minimum strength to maintain the posture and relax. Three, two, and one. Right knee down, right foot down, and again, Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, knee over toes, one more time, relax. Do not tuck your tailbone under, pressing down your feet into the ground, it's okay, just relax into. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Same thing happening. This time, inhale, lengthen the spine, shoulders back, and down. Let your head down to the back. And relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come up, and this time, palms pressing down, and bring your left knee right next, right behind your left wrist, left heel, close to your right groin, top of your feet down, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, go into pigeon pose, folded hand, forehead on top of your hand, relax into this pigeon pose, five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, come up, and downward facing dog. Inhale, wrap right foot forward and come up to lower lunge. Hands on your knees. Same thing as you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, just relax into lower lunge. Maintain minimum strength to, ma to remain in this posture. And the rest of it, just relax and let go of all the strength you need. Unnecessary ones. Just have enough strength to maintain this posture. Five. Be aware of the posture and where to relax. Maintain in this posture comfortably. Three. Two. One, left knee and left top of your feet down. As you inhale, lengthen the spine one more time. As you exhale, slightly knee over toes and relax. Do not tuck your tailbone under. Do not press down your left knee or left feet down into the ground. Just let it go. Five, four, three, two, one. Release your hands. Inhale. Lengthen the spine, shoulders up and roll down, and exhale. Mm. Drop your head in the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come up, palms down, and bring your right knee behind your right wrist, heel close to your left groin. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, walk your hand down. Hand folded, forehead on top of your hand. Five, four, three, two, and one. Palms back and down, and come up to downward facing duck. Exhale deep into downward dog to stretch, relax. Three, two, and one. Inhale, step at the center of the mat and hips down. And look right side of the mat and open your leg wide. This time again. Do not engage all the muscles, that's fine. Inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, just go down gently. Even you don't have to maintain neutral spine, it's okay. Wherever you are, we're gonna stay here 10 seconds. Here we go, 10 breath. Five. As you exhale, relax all the muscles. Let go of all the muscles, tension in all the muscles. Two. Three, four. We learn from the practice how difficult it is to let go of all the things that we have, even tension in the body. And six is a great lesson how hard it is to let go of things that we have gathered. Hey.
nine. And ten. Walk your hands slowly up. And bring your knees together. Feet together. Grab your feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, same thing happening. Relax all the muscle. You are not contract the muscles. This time, just relax. Five more breaths, five, four, let go of tension as you exhale, three, see where to relax, two, And one. Inhale slowly. Lift your body self up. This time, either extend your knee or bend your left knee. Doesn't matter. Lift your right leg up. Fit inside of your left elbow and grab the fit knee, right side of the belt. And then push gently. Pull in towards your chest and then cradle. <sighs> and pull in, inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, stay. Five, four. Ideally, your shin bone is parallel to your collarbone, but it's okay. Just relax your shoulders, your hips. Two. And one, it's okay. And bring your left knee up, left leg up, and hook it, and right elbow inside, left knee. And inhale, lengthen the spine, shin bone parallel to your collarbone. And exhale, relax. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, create a 90-90 degree angle. So, left shin bone parallel to the out right edge of the mat, and then your left, your right shin bone parallel to the short edge of the mat. And then what we're gonna do? So let me sh place it this way, 90-90 degree angle. We're going to in inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, relax this side of the body, and elbow reaching towards your right heel. Chest up and relax. I know this is difficult, so do not force yourself to go into a posture. Just the point is, relax, and see if you can relax all the muscles and stay in this discomfort and change that into a kind of nothingness. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back up and exhale. And switch the leg this time. Internal rotation of right leg and external rotation of left leg. Same thing, inhale, lengthen the spine, hands behind the back interlace. As you exhale, left elbow down to the left heel, chest forward, even upward. Relax the left side of the body muscles and your hips as well. Five, four, three, I remember when I was young, I was able to touch the left heel with the left elbow. But look at me. But it's okay. Let it go. And relax. Two. And one. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale. Release your leg this time. This time, where I wanted to come into a frog position. Elbow down. 
and open up your knees. Do as much as you can. And then back and forth as you inhale and exhale. Hips back and forth. Release the tension in your hips. Where to relax? Is it upper hips? Is it inside of the hips? Where is it? Wherever it is, relax. And see if you can place your belly on the ground. Your hips down. Open up your even hips further. Chest up. Fine. If this is difficult, chest down is fine. Wherever you are, hold. Five breath. Five. Four. Three. See, as you relax into this posture, is your hips going down and down. I want you to be aware of that movement. This is movement meditation. Wonderful meditation. So please be aware of it. Then what happens during the day, you'll be able to be aware of your daily movement so that you can change your posture and overall improve your quality of life. So two more seconds. Three. Relax. Two. And one. And walk your hands back up. And comes into seated position. I want you to come into lotus pose. Bend your right knee, right top feet on top of your left thigh, and bend your left knee, bring the feet on top of your right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge from the hips, palms in the back, facing upwards, arms in the back, and relax into lotus pose. Five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, come up. Switch the leg this time. Bend your left knee and place your top of your feet on top of your right thigh. Bend your right knee and right foot on top of your left thigh. And inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, hmm, just slowly go down. Palms in the back, facing upwards. Five. Four. Relax your hips, your ankle. Three. Two. And one. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Release. Turn your body to the shoulder edge of the mat and lie down on your back. On your back. Right ankle on top of your left knee. Palms cactus pose. Elbow arms cactus pose. And as you exhale, drop your knees to the right side and look over the left shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and come back, switch the leg. As you exhale, drop your knees to the left side and look over the right shoulder. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now come back, extend your left knee, hips to the right side, right foot on top of your left thigh, Bend your left elbow, no, bend your right elbow, a cactus degree, palms facing up. Bring your left knee down to the left, look over the right shoulder. As you exhale, go into spinal twist. Three, two, one. Bend your left knee, see if you can grab the ankle. Palms facing upwards, grab it. And extend your right leg, see if you can grab your heel. And pulling the tailbone, look over the right shoulder, extend your right leg, five, relax, three, two, and one, release, inhale, come back to center, move your hips to the left side of the mat, R left foot on top of right thigh, bend your left hand, 
90 degree palms facing upwards. Gently bring your right knee down to the right and look over the left shoulder. And relax. Three, two, and one. Bend your right knee, grab the ankle with your palms facing upwards left hand. See if you can extend your left leg and look over the left shoulder. And inhale, lengthen it, and exhale, just relax. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, goes into Savasana. Close your eyes, extend your arms and legs, and relax. I have been asked many times, what should I do when I'm injured? Should I stop? practicing or continue to practice even though I am injured. Of course, you need to talk to your profession. You need to look for professional help, your doctor. But from my own experience, as long as you can move, I want you to move gently within pain-free motion. Again, it heals you faster and it keeps you have the range of motion that you enjoy right now. So please keep moving, keep practicing gently. If you are not able to practice seriously and heals your faster, definitely faster. It improves healing, faster healing. It actually accelerates your healing. And also you can enjoy the range of motion on, you know, on t intact, you know what I mean? So relax, hold the body. And give your body a chance to rejuvenate yourself. Move your fingers, move your toes. Roll your body to one side. Come into fatal position. Relax. Lift your body self into up into city position. Arms at the heart together. If you have ability to relax, you will definitely make progress. No doubt about it, because stretching means relaxing. And deeper meditation comes with the relaxation, not tension. So, learn, learn to relax in any life situation in any posture in any situation it means whenever you have something in your life let's say for example you have a cold and you have a strong headache you can still let go of pain and relax I know it's not easy but you can do that so let's learn to relax under any circumstances in our life Let's finish today's practice all together. Inhale. Om. Namaste. See you tomorrow.